a food writer, how would I describe a food writer? A food writer, there's a couple of different ones. Um, how I do it is reporting on hospitality throughout Los Angeles and all that it encompasses. I am absolutely a news reporter over a reviewer. Food reviewers and food journalists are very unique in what they do. I am a beat journalist for restaurants and hospitality in Los Angeles. And so I don't give any kind of judgment over whether a food or a restaurant is good or bad. That is up to the reviewers in the city, reviewers that I know very well, it's, that is their job to do. Um, for me, it's more important to report on openings, closings, trends, um, uh, you know, break any kind of breaking news, especially in the era of COVID. It's, it's important for us to focus on those stories rather than telling people go here or don't go here. What interests me most about food writing is how it covers culture in a way that's meaningful to me. I know what restaurants mean to the communities that they're in, how their social centers, how their gathering places, um, you know, providing something very essential for what everyone needs every day on this planet, which is something to eat. So behind all of that, are the people that make it run. It's really easy to focus on the chefs, the owners, and making it about celebrity. I feel like we've definitely gone down that path over the last few decades. But to me, the very experienced busboy, food server, sommelier, food expediter, the vendors that come in with this special ingredient all have a story to tell about their backgrounds, what made them uh, come to Los Angeles or whatever specific city to me is really fascinating so for I love that element of it because you have to dig um, layers upon layers upon layers to to really bring those stories to light and and that's what I enjoy most because it's really about the people who run them later on this afternoon I'm just gonna be um, just perusing the internet and just looking to see what's going on in Los Angeles right now. And there's a couple of things, and I need to see how people are feeling about it. I have a lot of contacts in the community, um, not just people who are friends, but people who I've met throughout the years, not just restaurant owners um, or servers or anyone who works in the industry, but actual customers, to call them and get an idea of what's going on. Because if you're gonna be a reporter, you have to have your ear to the ground and have people relay their thoughts and ideas to you. And without that, then I would just be guessing. And it's my job to relay that to my readers so that they get a good sense of it because I feel like it's important, especially in this city with, or the, rather this county with 30,000 restaurants, for everyone to have a really solid idea of what is going on, especially after COVID changed everything. So to me, that's why um, reporters, food reporters, editors, reviewers are crucial to the game and important for folks to really clue in and see what they're doing so that they can see what's happening in this very successful industry. Um, you know, there's some places that have been around for decades and it's because they're doing something right. They're serving the community and I believe that people will continue to want to know about that. A year ago, I wrote a story about black-owned bars in Los Angeles um, because prior to 2000, there were hundreds of them throughout Southern California. A really vibrant bar, black bar, black-owned bar and black-owned club scene throughout LA. And uh, there's only a handful left. And the story that I wrote asked the question why. 
And to me, it wound up being the epitome of the thing that I love to write about most, which is a business that has strong meaning to the people who live in that community. They just had stories, the most amazing stories to share. And when you can encapsulate that with images, with uh, words, um, I think you can capture something very special. And that's what I hope to do, but it's definitely one that got a lot of traction. Um, it got a lot of attention to these bars so that people are going to them more frequently. Um, but also too, it was just something that meant a lot to me because back when I went to bars, this is the type of place that I would go to and feel completely comfortable there. And I, it kind of took me back to that era a little bit. And, but it was just a, a really beautiful story that I think I wrote. Um, I got a lot of emails and messages from people saying this meant a lot to me, especially um, readers who had never gone to Eater LA before that are a part of the black community that said this really spoke to me and I really appreciate you writing it. So anytime I get something like that, I, it sends my heart through the moon. So it was, it was absolutely my favorite thing that I wrote. I absolutely would say that it's similar to working in a restaurant. Um, you know, there's a, a system, a funnel system of, you know, like, okay, these stories are coming up. Um, you know, the line works on them. Um, and then we present them on a plate through the editorial process and then push them out to the customers, to the world. So, yeah, I'd say that's absolutely a great metaphor to use uh, when thinking about food writing. My name is Mona Holmes and I'm a reporter for Eater Los Angeles.